An estimated 43 million Americans will receive student debt relief, with the Biden administration saying the details on how to get it will be announced in early October. It's welcome news to lots of borrowers, like Mary Dunn, who owes $60,000 in loans. The five, $600 I'm paying toward my student loans every month is money that I could be filtering into the economy. But experts say questions still linger about how much relief is out there and when it'll be available. Just like other folks, we're waiting on updates and information as well. Here's what we know so far. Of the 43 million eligible for relief, nearly 8 million qualify for automatic forgiveness. You only qualify for that if your income data is already on file with the education department, either through a recent FAFSA form or an application for an income-driven repayment plan. If the department doesn't have that information, you'll have to submit an application. But it's not available just yet. The Biden administration has only said applications will open, quote, early October. Before you do that, you'll want to determine whether you qualify for relief at all. Only individual borrowers who make less than $125,000 and married borrowers who make under $250,000 are eligible. It also matters whether you received Pell Grants to pay for college. If you did, you're eligible for up to $20,000 in relief. If you didn't, you can get $10,000 in relief. And this only applies to federal loans, not private lenders. Once the application opens in October, borrowers will have until December 2023 to complete it. Additionally, any borrower who made loan payments after March 13, 2020 can receive reimbursement through their provider. But in the meantime, Republicans are challenging President Biden's relief effort, saying it's unfair to those with no college debt. But the question is, what group or what individual or what entity can basically say that they've been harmed by this policy and have the courts say that they have official standing to sue. And GOP leaders, including Senator Ted Cruz, are considering their legal options on if and how they could block the landmark plan from moving forward. Bianca Fischini, Newsy, Washington.